no rest for the wicket, I suppose. Come on, we've got stuck here. It's good. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> All right, Mitchell, Marnus, Nathan, uh, the Test Series 2 launches on Prime Video uh, the 13th of January, and I don't know if it's eligible for sort of awards in Logies or anything like that, but if it was, who were you backing in to be most, providing the most entertainment throughout the series, do you think? Who's sort of your funniest teammate, do you reckon? Going back, I reckon, when I watched the first one through, Mitch Marsh provided me a lot yeah, of yeah, entertainment. Yeah. That was hilarious. The drum yeah. solo, that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. good. Um, I haven't seen. What, what award are we going for here? Uh, that's a good question. I didn't look like, at Pat Cummins. Like, if we're going it, for yeah. like words per minute, it might be this bloke <laughs> or David Warner. <laughs> David Warner. David Warner. Yeah. Touch yeah. and go. We're days. not in the same category. We... <laughs> Some days, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. Yes, you are, mate. Yeah, depend on the award. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know that much about the Logies to actually be able to break down particular awards. Yeah. But I think you've answered it very well. Yeah, <laughs> no, happy with that. Yeah. And um, filming the series, guys, did it all sort of come naturally or were there times you had to remind yourselves the cameras on and dial back on any little mannerisms? I know one of you really likes shadow batting, for example. Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. There was a couple of um, people who knew the cameras and were around. That's fair. Uh, we're sitting next to one of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Starky edge. Oh, but I um, don't oh, know. Oh, no. It was quite enjoyable, to be honest. Okay. I think Doc did a fantastic job. So Yeah, I think the best part or the most important part is that, you know, we all built a relationship with uh, Doc and, you know, we trusted that what he was filming – um, was going to be authentic and, you know, a really good reflection of, of who we are. Um, you know, obviously don't, don't just get everyone's bad moments all the time. Yeah. Um, I think you would have seen a few. Hopefully they missed a few of those cuts in Pakistan where the eagle wasn't working. <laughs> I was yeah. thinking of getting corn. Um, run out. Uh, yeah, take it run out on the flattest wicket ever. <laughs> <laughs> No, perfect. Now, uh, Mitch, to you and Nathan, this one goes specifically. Uh, one thing that got quite a bit of airtime, maybe like recently, actually, uh, was Marnus's vicious bouncer against the West Indies bowling medium pace. Since seeing that, is he someone that you try and avoid in the nets when batting now? <sighs> this is a genuine piston. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yes. I, I think I actually try and get into Manus' net. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. A little confidence. That's fair. I mean, yeah. the thing is, right, well, what do I have to work with? If, if Starkey bats and I bowl a 125, 130, if oh. I get my lock up right, um, Jeez, right, if, you, if I get it right. Wishful thinking. If I get it right, then... You I mean, your foot behind the line. My theory, my theory now is, uh, well, I know when I go into the net stuff, he's going to bounce me anyway, so I might as well feed him when, I, when I've got the chance. I, reckon, I honestly reckon my arm will squeeze on you. <laughs> <laughs> the only oh, thing God. you've got to remember when you step into Marnus's net is he's got about 25 fielders. <laughs> so there's no, That's you true. don't get any fielders. You don't get runs. When yeah. he's batting, you don't get any fielders. No runs. Low yeah. Low when Low he's Low bowling, <laughs> there are fielders everywhere. <laughs> That's fair. That's good. That. Marnus has a very good skill of never being out. <laughs> <laughs> on in in an eighteen in the game. Yeah, still, <laughs> are you still do you still claim like hundreds of net wickets a session, man? Is that? Oh, if I get a wicket, I mean, if I get a wicket, I'm like pretty you hear about it. Yeah. 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 People know. Yeah. Can we can we yeah. tell the lads what you told us? When you first started to play test cricket, <laughs> we just went through it. Mate, I've been talking about it off camera. We might as well do it on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell the whole world? <laughs> yeah, go for it. How many test wickets were you? I'm taking. I slightly overclubbed <laughs> by slightly significant. At this stage, to be fair, I um, almost had more. You corrected yourself pretty quickly. Yeah, I pr- at this stage, I almost had more test wickets than runs. So mm. it was a fair assumption to make that if I was going to continue to play test cricket, that my wickets column would have to go up. Right. Yeah, but okay. maybe 200 was a bit aggressive. 200. <laughs> well, at, at point of recording, you're on 16, 15. At no, 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 no. Point of, uh, 12, 12, 12. <laughs> at, at yeah. point of yeah. comment. Point, point of comment. comment. Point of point comment. comment. No, Hazelwood and Cummins still hadn't had 200 test wickets, oh. and he thought he was going to get 200. Okay. Just like, oh, confident. Yeah, that's, that is very that's confident. That's what people like. Yeah. And at that stage, I think I also said, oh, I'm going to get 50 first-class hundreds. You had four. You <laughs> <laughs> had four. Definitely kicked on. No, you got 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And one of those things are close. But yeah, I've always been a man of confidence, but um, is there a moment, is there a particular moment in the, the test series obviously went went through a, a few series of test matches but is there is there a personal highlight or something that you're looking forward to to watching back on camera now? 
not not personal highlight for me it's going to be Scotty Boland at the gym yeah. Yeah. I think I think we all want to rewatch that and just I don't know take it in because it happened pretty quickly that day yeah. so I reckon that one's going to be yeah. okay. man he's trying to sift through all his own highlights at the moment <laughs> yeah I'm trying to which hundred geez, which cover drive no, <laughs> um, no I reckon I reckon my I reckon one of the one of my favourite memories was our win in Pakistan um, obviously yeah. the first time we ever gone back there but probably more so was just the like how hard we had to work for the win. I think that's what Test cricket is. I'm going to say everyone's favourite format is because it's the hard work that you put in, the grind, the the hours on hours to get a result. And you know, for that specific series, we put in 15 days of absolute hard work, grind, fielding. You know, boys trying to do everything possible to get a win. And each test we got closer, and then obviously that third test, uh, we were able to seal the victory. And mm. I think that was probably one of my most satisfying um, series wins. I actually look forward to seeing that how the different characters are portrayed off the field. Mm. Uh, everyone knows the results of the cricket, yeah. but I think particularly the the Pakistan series, how we were, you know we were stuck in hotels when we were at, on a cricket field, um, and mm. it's been a bloody fun environment to be in for the last couple of years and. The group's been, uh, we're probably a lot more experienced now on and off the field, but yeah. how we got on together off the field in Pakistan in a, in a tight environment, living out of each other's pockets for, <laughs> for what was it, four weeks. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that and probably the golf tournament too, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, did you win it, did you? Know? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> oh, Wiz won it, did yeah. Wiz. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, we've got our overrated, underrated segment for you, so it's not designed to be you know, very very long answers there Perfect. off the cuff, sort of off, off you go. I'm starting you off with ice bars. Overrated. Overrated. Okay. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Underrated. Underrated. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Love an ice bath. You are going to have to elaborate on that. No, I love an ice bath. Um, <laughs> minimum, yeah, 15 minutes when you go in. 15 yeah, you, yeah, you got to so got to get your core temperature Even down. Even at that Gabba changer? Yeah. That's yeah. the coldest ice bath yeah. of all time. Core temperature down, great for recovery. There's a lot of there's a lot of science behind it. He said short answer. Underrated. Very good. Nathan, right. sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, wicket keepers in short sleeves. Overrated. Definitely yeah, overrated. Not a fan. Clubbies. Yeah, yeah. overrated. Yeah. Yeah. Not going to see that on a test match. Short sleeves and short sleeves and floppy hat. All right, different one for you. The DJ Bravo champion song. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to answer? Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to lie. When it came out, it was quite catchy. I think I definitely sang it in no, the yeah. fair. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go with stuck there. underrated. It just got stuck in my head. Yeah, okay. It just got me. It's okay. right. mainstreamed me. <laughs> Lovely. And Manus, I think I probably know your answer, but the other fellow's coffee. Overrated. Okay. Nice. Underrated. That's all right. Under four from four. Underrated. Stay with these on fire. I'll tell you what, if there's two things you need on a cricket tour these days, it's a coffee machine okay. and a golf simulator. Yeah. And what's like market. 30 right. boxes of Red Bulls. <laughs> uh, to finish off, finish off, guys, uh, something we rely on pretty heavily uh, on social media is uh, like dad jokes and puns. I don't know if that's something that <laughs> is any of your cup of tea, but it's never stopped us from sort of throwing them at people anyway. So we have uh, we have produced a couple of sort of cricket-themed... I've seen uh, some of your material. Okay, excellent. Oh, uh, I never watched Mitch, you'll start, will you? Uh, I can do, yeah. yeah. And what we need from you is just, just a rate, like a five-star rating, like you were doing sort of a review of a restaurant meal. <laughs> Yeah. See how that go. I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Matt Preston. <laughs> Matt Preston. He's, he's ready he to swing that act. He is making me sweat. Right. There. there we go. I'm glad you're starting. Right. Yeah, I'm not, but I'll give it a crack. Uh, I heard test matches go for days. No rest for the wicket, I suppose. Come on, we've got stuck here. That's good. <laughs> I'll give you three now. Right. Okay. Oh, Perfect. Uh, my one. What did the wicket keeper say to the cricket ball as it whizzed past his ear? What did you say? I'll give you two then. I like it. I'll give you three. Give you four. Strongest one. Strongest one. Take a sign. Surely we're on. Last one. Last one. If you've got a cricket ball in one hand and a cricket ball in the other hand, what have you got? 
A very big cricket. Gas <laughs> <laughs> gives something. <laughs> Do you get that? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that is important yeah, yeah, to clarify. Right. <laughs> Oh, you I'll like take that one. <laughs> Thank you, mate. That's about five stars for him at the moment. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you well, so welcome. much. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Do you want to do a goodbye or is that you good? Oh, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, but goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. <laughs>